Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you game two of a series between MMA and Lucira here on Shakura's Plateau. Game two in uh, what I believe is a best of seven series. Currently, Lucira has a 1-0 lead. This is the finals from MLG Columbus. I am casting all of these games by request. I know that you guys could have easily um, watched the stream. And I thank you guys for watching this game on my channel as well as it definitely does help and support me. We have MMA spawning as the blue Terran player on the bottom left-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Lucira spawning on the right bottom right-hand side of the map as the red Zerg. Excuse me. So as the Red Zerg, this is Shakura's Plateau. It is very, very similar to the Battle Battle.net Blizzard version of the map. Only difference is that there is a supply depot on the low ground. There are no destructible rocks leading into your base. And there are now these destructible rocks leading into the high ground location here. So before, pr um, prior to the changes, I would say that MMA has a definite advantage um, on Shakura's Plateau. Just because those backdoor rocks so easy to take down. And then a Marine Medevac Marauder able to make their way in and just uh, put down a beating on the main hatchery. But now that the backdoor entrance into the main base has been removed, and that is no longer the case. MMA also now getting a barracks over here. And we'll see if he continues with early Marine pressure. No, he will not. As a refinery now coming into play, so it is not going to be early Marine pressure. Instead, going for more of a tech route. MMA about to finish this racks over here. The Overlord slowly flying and it will be able to spot out and an scv does scout out this one overlord so yes mma does know in fact where exactly lucira has spawned and curious that mma actually decided to build the refinery here lucira um actually spots this refinery and because he spots the refinery he knows that he doesn't need to uh, put down as much early pressure at all um, with Zerglings or Spying Crawlers knowing that his opponent will not be able to go mass Marines um, as easily. The one drone currently trying to block any tech lab from being built and now in comes the Marine. The Marine now making its way over and it looks like the barracks is not adding a tech lab at all. And perhaps that drone will get shot down. The drone now down to one hit point. It's going to try to run off into this corner but no, the Marine gets that final kill there. And with only one Marine, we are now going into a factory. So this is... Going to be a factory, perhaps reactor hellion play in order to put some pressure down. Lucira now making its way over with the overlord, perhaps should be able to get some additional scouting information. The marine down over here needs to make sure that there are no overlords in position, gonna sit itself off or sit in itself right in this position. Army wise, not very much to report on. Harvester wise, 17 SCVs, one mule versus 17 drones. MMA looks like he will be building a command center here in just a moment. And he is not going for reactored hellions. Um, so, not reactored hellions. He may actually try to go for, I'm guessing at this stage, perhaps blue flame hellions. Yes, adding on a tech lab. So, he may be going for blue flame hellions instead. And um, that will decrease his hellion count as he is not going to have nearly as many hellions. But. Those Hellions will be um, doubly efficient against light units. Drones getting two-shotted. Zerglings getting two-shotted as well. Um, these mules are starting to mine away. This command center um, about a one-third, a little bit more than one-third of the way completed as both players are now currently supply-locked. Production lab uh, t uh, tab does show that what Blue Flame now being researched in addition to a Hellion being trained up the zerglings looking and does not see the factory so that is a very very important crucial scouting information also the command center being built a little bit far off as well as lucira essentially is playing in the dark and he doesn't know what his opponent is currently going for lucira at some point needs to suicide this overlord in to figure out what his opponent is trying to go for lucira and um, it currently is getting those uh, speedling upgrades and also with two queens we'll see what this one drone tries to grow up to be it does not in fact try to grow up to be anything instead just mining away more marines are being trained up as well the blue flame research about to be completed um, it needs a little bit more time and it looks like we will be going into three hellions and then trading into perhaps some barracks play the zerglings i'm um, getting cleaned up there so mma making sure to clean up the zerglings and now going into a reactor as well as we may be getting another hellion perhaps we may get a lift off here no it doesn't it looks like a lift off may happen once this tech lab is done 
and then perhaps trying to um, train up those Hellions. And now three Hellions already on the move as a Siege Tank now being added. And we may get some Siege Tech instead. So Blue Flame Hellion in the Siege Tech as these Hellions are now look making their way across the field. Going to finish off those Zerglings rather easily. This one Zergling down over here trying to uh, gonna get toasted as this one Hellion able to finish off two sets of Zerglings so far. Or once, or yeah, a pair of Zerglings so far as the Zergling now making their way out. The Banelings are going to be in this position and now trying to get some damage onto those Zerglings. The Zerglings getting toasted pretty quickly and easily, but those Banelings are going to be able to deal a lot of damage. And in comes the flank. The Banelings are going to be able to find and take down their target. Really done by, really well done by Lucira. Harvester count 32 compared to 29. Lucira has a stronger army, but he does not have the economic need or lead that he really needs at this stage. A siege tank on the high ground there would be able to fend off a lot of these Zerglings as the Zerglings and now just um, sitting over here. The siege tank needs to siege up onto that high ground, get some damage. A baneling bus may be coming in under underway as well. The siege tank only about halfway done, and that means that those banelings will be able to start walking up that ramp in just a moment perhaps causing a bust on MMA. More siege tanks need to be added. This is going to be a definite problem as the uh, siege tanks need to really be able to fend off this attack here. The Banelings now walking up the ramp. Marines now trying to get some damage onto there. One, two, three. Banelings unable to make their way through as the Marines now trying to fight it off here. The bunkers or the supply depots are going to get taken down. SCB is now trying to do a repair over here. The Zerglings trying to go after the siege tanks. One siege tank destroyed. But now that the siege tank is going to have... No, it does not have the siege tank. Instead, opting to go for another siege tank instead. So the siege tech was reset. And that is going to definitely hurt. No, sorry. The siege tech was done. What am I talking about? Down over here. Yeah, siege tech is done. So the siege tank will be able to start blasting away. Um, completely missed that. I, I, I must have clicked here. Didn't see siege tech research. Clicked here. Didn't see um, the siege the tank um, currently being built and now the siege tanks in the proper position to stop any of those banelings from being able to run up that ramp it is going to be two base play versus um three base play in just a moment but 36 scvs versus 39 drones lucira with a much less aggressive macro style of play than we've seen from moro or even in idra um, really not that far ahead army wise um, MMA actually having the si larger lead 62 at six over 62 right now 62 over 70 now as he needs to get more supply depots and it looks like mass marine play will be coming underway in just a moment another reactor being added I believe um, combat shield will be researched next a tech lab may be added as well in order to start trying to train up even more um, more medevacs and now with only one medevac in play and there is this overlord positioning itself off right here there's the SCVs SCVs do not see it the um, Lucira only able to see the SCVs currently mining away and that is it um, so we'll see what happens with this drop play where is that medevac where did it go Looking for a blue dot. There it is. MMA now doing a drop around the far side of the map. It looks like the Overlord should be able to spot this drop rather easily. And then that uh, drop wants to try to shut down Lucira's expansion here at the 3 o'clock location. And now uh, instead Marines trying to cut their losses or at least deal some damage. Now picking off one of the Overlords. Another Overlord may get shut down over here. We already have a sea of Zerglings ready and lying in wait to try to destroy this one set of um, this group of Marines. The Marines are not upgraded 1-0 at all. Certainly sitting, sitting at 0-0 should get 1-0 now as the Marines now make their way out across the map. The Marines are going to be coming down over here. Zerglings now swarming in. The Marines need to jump inside. Able to jump inside in just a moment. This poor Marine needs to jump inside as well. Is it going to be saved? Yes, it is saved. As another drop happening down over here. No, not a drop. Instead, just um, fighting off over here. The Marines are going to simply stim in and try to finish off those banelings. So one baneling, two banelings, three, four banelings all destroyed. So nicely done as th th we may be having an elevator drop in just a moment. Uh, we do have this medevac over here. So two medevacs full of Marines putting down a lot of pressure even though um, they are not dealing that much damage and pressure is something that cannot be ignored. Lucira is finally power droning up sitting on 84 drones now and he should have a very strong economy leading into the mid portion of the game but MMA was sitting on a 1,000 or 2,000 mineral advantage on his army pushing out with mass siege tanks and marines. All of this off of two factories now mostly off of one factory being trained 
five racks, a lot more marines still being um, trained up. Two medevacs in the air. Are there going to be enough banings is the key portion in this battle. The siege tanks now sieging up in the backfield, trying to make sure to clear up all of these creep tumors as quickly as possible. The marines now trying to run away, able to do so as the, um, what, the creep tumors are now getting cleared up rather slowly. Another scanner sweep revealing more creep tumors as they get shut down as well. Marines um, now deciding to pull back. They are getting the 0-1-1 uh, one, one upgrades as the tanks now um, deciding not to press their advantage, just waiting for that creep to recede. We are getting some roaches and more banelings in production. 167 food versus 137 as four more supply depots being added. You can see that he's probably currently, yeah, a supply locked, unable to train up anything as another com orbital command will be placed down. The barracks are now... Uh, training to train up more and more zerglings as the or sorry the bears training up more and more marines as the marines are now upgraded 1-0 no armory just quite yet so it does not look like we will be getting the 2-0 upgrades anytime or the 2-2 upgrades anytime soon at all another overlord shot down there 158 food versus 174 we may be getting multiple drops in multiple locations one overlord here and i don't see any mutilus in play yet as the spire is now about two-thirds of the way completed this set of destructible rocks may get destroyed as it would allow for very, very easy access into the natural expansion over here as MMA now trying to take another expansion seen on 59 SCVs. He does not have any mules, but MMA using the siege tanks up on the high ground should be able to fend off a lot of attacks. Roaches and Banings now coming in. Banings now trying to roll their way in, but MMA is just too well sieged and too well protected to really um, to really lose to this and proper proper positioning is going to perhaps prevent lucira from getting any true damage with those banelings marines are now trying to pull back roaches now simply trying to ignore this but the marines with stim should be able to come in and now the banelings now trying to come up as well the banelings are going to be able to find some scvs but that is it as the marines and the uh, marauders finish off the rest of those units you can see 23 workers killed but mma um, still sitting on three bases. He should be trying to macro up even further. There are now Marines dropping off over on this side as well. Zergly is now trying to swarm in. Are they going to jump in? Yes, quickly just jump in inside that medevac and perhaps do a drop over here as there are now going to be a drop over here timing this absolutely perfectly. The siege tanks now making their way in. Marines trying to clean up. Zergly are going to now trying to be swarming over here as well as a reinforcement of Marines now coming in from behind. The Zergly is now sieging up. No, Zergly is trying to take down the sieging siege tanks. Marines now cleaning up here as the meta backdrop going to be landing off here getting a lot of damage in just a second there banelings finding much of their target but lucira putting in a lot of pressure dropping in the front dropping in the back mutilus now trying to finish off this drop over here as the main army of mma simply walking in and taking this down it looks like the queen is now trying to hide to live and fight another day and there's the gg by lucira Lucira losing on Shakura's Plateau, uh, just playing a very um, aggressive, aggressive macro style of play, hoping to be able to catch MMA off guard. But MMA, with the timing of his push, was absolutely perfect. If he had waited two to three minutes, I think he would have been really far behind. Um, you can see MMA was calculating, trying to push out, making sure that he cleaned all of these creep tumors up and then fainted that he was going to attack. Pulled back, set up some siege tanks up on this high ground here. These siege tanks got a lot of kills on those incoming banelings, on those incoming zerglings, and really softened up um, Lucero's incoming attack force. And after that, after that incoming attack force was um, just destroyed, you could see MMA was able to um, handle some drops, get some drops over here, and then a nice rally point um, drop over off into this position, timing it to almost the same exact time where MMA was pushing in on the front door, calling in all the zerglings, calling in all the mutilists and the banelings, allowing this drop to go in unhindered. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed game two in this best of seven series. Um, yeah, go ahead and click on game three. It should be just the following video in my channel box.